Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Captain Kinetic and in today's tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to mass produce certificates in an instant. Kung ikaw ay bago sa channel na to, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so that every time I post the content, you'll be notified of PowerPoint tips and tricks that can help you either sa reports, sa school mo, or uh, if you're a teacher, sa pagtuturo mo. Let's paint a picture. What if you have 100 or let's say 1,000 recipients ng isang certificate sa isang event. And then, these 1,000 participants also attended another event na merong ibang pangalan at ibang signatory at ibang date. How will you instantly create another set of 1,000 or let's just say 100 certificates using one click? In this tutorial, malalaman mo kung paano gagawin yun. So, these are the two files that I created during the previous tutorials. Let's open this and save it under a different file name so we can preserve the original. Original file. The secret to mass producing certificates in PowerPoint is to utilize the slide master. I'll show you how. First thing we need to do is to import our design to the slide master. Select all, then head over to view, then slide master. This is the slide master. Others call it the parent slide. While these are the layout slides, others would refer them as children's slides. Here's the thing. Whatever you put here on the parent slide will reflect on the layout slides. So, if I insert a shape here, the layout slides will also have it just like a gene or a DNA inherited from the parent slide. Notice that if I delete the text placeholders here, we will still have the text placeholders in each of the layout slides. And it is your choice if you want to leave these or not. As for me, I prefer to delete them and insert new ones when I need to. I also want to leave just one layout slide, so let me delete the rest and leave this first layout. Let's paste our design on the master slide. Here's what you need to remember when working with the slide master. Anything you want to see in each of the layout slides need to be present in the slide master. Anything that you want to customize will be done in the layout slide. That being said, let us cut these texts and paste them in the layout slide. Alright, let's go out from the slide master and on to the normal view. If you click on layout, you will now see the layout that we just created. We cannot yet customize this because it is just a regular text box. It needs to be a placeholder so we can type the name here. A text placeholder is a pre-formatted text box that can only be inserted in the slide master. The tendency is to insert a text box in the normal view and type the name of the recipient. This is not the wise thing to do. It is not efficient at all. So, let's go back to the slide master view and let's activate the title text placeholder in the slide master. Prior to this, I copied the text box from the layout slide so that I can copy its format onto the placeholder. Select it, then go to Format Painter, then click on the placeholder. Let's change the text to your name here. Reposition. Head over to the layout slide and activate the title placeholder. If we do that, a text placeholder will appear with a format similar to the text placeholder from the slide master. Let's change the text and center. Now we are done with the first layout, which is a certificate of achievement presented to anyone who successfully completes the course PowerPoint Level Up held on March 1, 2021 with Jane Doe as the signatory. If we want to add another certificate option with a different course or date or signatory, we can simply duplicate this layout and change the texts. Alright, let's pretend like this let's pretend like the second layout is for a certificate for the course Microsoft Excel Training held on April 11 with Jennifer Doe as the signatory. Rename 
so we can easily identify it in layout options later. Okay, let's quickly go back to normal view to see the changes. If I reset this slide, it will reapply the latest changes in its chosen layout slide. We can easily change this slide supposing we are awarding it to a different course. Easy, right? Now, suppose we want this similar design with curves but with a different color. What do we do? We can simply copy the slide master and append it below. And you can choose from the default colors of PowerPoint if you prefer not to customize. There are lots of choices as you can see, but I prefer this. Let's rename this slide master to aspect. This is just the first design. We have another design, right? The one with triangles. We can definitely import it to the slide master, to this master. So we can have more options, layout options. So in process, but let me just make it quick for you. All right, let's assume that there are two other courses using this design. One is Microsoft PowerPoint Level Up, and the other is Advanced Microsoft Excel Training, each held on a different date and with different signatory. Don't forget to rename each layout so we can easily identify them on normal view. Okay, let's go back to normal view and take a look at the six layouts we just created. Um, let me take this layout as our example. Okay, I choose the different actors who played superheroes in movies as recipients of the certificates. Let me show you different ways to paste these names. Okay, let's copy the name. Starting off with Robert Downey Jr. Let's copy it and then the first option, first paste option is to hold control, option key, and V. Then select unformatted text. Second paste option, let's do it with the second name. Copy and go to paste options over here and select key text only. Third paste option, copy the third name. Go back, right click, and choose keep text only. You know what, it's, it's weird that if I simply paste it here and move my mouse, the paste options don't appear anymore. It's a bit annoying. So I just choose right click and select keep text only. Lesser mouse movement. Let me do it for the rest of the names. Just for the sake of example, we'll only be doing 20 names, but in reality, there can actually be more. One important thing I don't want you to miss when working with Slide Master is always pin the Slide Masters because there are tendencies that they get lost. How do you do that? Just go back to the Master View, right click on the Slide Master, then select Preserve. Be sure to do it on all the Slide Masters. Yep. All right, we are now ready to mass produce our certificates. Suppose these set of people successfully finish all the courses, it is now very easy to create certificates for them. Just copy the first set and paste. While the slides are selected, choose a different layout from the layout options, and then do it for the rest of the layouts. Now that's how you must produce certificates. It will now take only one click to do hundreds or even thousands of certificates. Thank you.